Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Air Bended Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of October general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Break You Off by The Roots featuring music Soul Child. Now, you guys know The Roots is a band, so there's so many different members, and I couldn't get the Zodiac signs for all of them, but what do we have here? Music Soul Child is a Virgo. We have Aquarius. We have multiple Libras, so a lot of Libra energy here, so this may be you. You may feel like this. And then you have Scorpio, which we are currently in Scorpio season. So I feel like this is going to play out in Scorpio season, okay? Um, what I heard, very clear, clear as day, I heard, once they get their hands on you, it's over. Either they feel like this about you or you feel like this about them. Because there's something about somebody who's waiting for the right time. And I feel like this does have to do with um, intimacy. Like they're waiting for the right time, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have temperance, patiently waiting, balancing, um, divine timing. Sagittarius. So some of y'all could be done with Sagittarius. Some of us have Venus individual. Back of the deck, you have um, the Six of Pentacles. The scales there makes me think about balance. And then you guys, of course, are Libra. So that could be your energy. You could be a Libra with a lot of earthy placements in your chart. But this is like, again, waiting for the right time for things. Balance out. Like you don't want to jump into something too quickly or... If there's a reconciliation, someone's like, okay, I don't want to just jump in trying to be intimate because I don't want to look like it's just all about sex, like it's nothing more than that. Bottom of this deck, you got the Ten of Wands, carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. So again, there's going to be something heavy that happened between you and this person. And um, they were waiting for the right time. But I'm going to say again, once they get their hands on you, it's going to be over. That flow right there is making me, it's not my intention to think like this, but I am getting something like sexual here. Like or, orgasmic energy. This person could reach out to you on a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or a Thursday. Or it's just like the flow of passion. Like you see how it's flowing on, like on every side. The flow of passion between you and this person is just so strong. Again, I did get one of the artists. And the roots is a Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season. Or this could be like waterworks, literally. You know, in Scorpio season. Again, which we are currently in. So let's see what we get for you guys today. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Visuals, we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is Justice. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get Clarifiers. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you got Three of Swords. So I feel like you're dealing with someone, because just this energy right here, it makes me feel like this person broke your heart. You are Swords. They broke your heart, but it's like they always want to come in and be intimate. They're not thinking about, it's like, this could be someone who's all about the physical and even though you guys have strong physical chemistry, it's like you you enjoy that, but you also like, okay, what more? What is it? What else do you have to offer? Yeah, and there you go. Okay, so <laughs> we were looking for your card and it came up. This won't happen this month, okay? Not this month, but um, during Scorpio season, my apologies. Because this is going to happen soon. It, your card is immediately here. We didn't have to do any other, we didn't have to dig or anything. So again, three of swords, you could have broke their heart or they could have broke yours. I feel like they broke your heart. Like their behavior, their actions, they're so focused on just the passion again because behind it, that swords with the heart, you know, the heart with the swords, and you got flames, and flames is definitely about passion. So it's like this all they're focused on, they don't care about how they made you feel or you know, anything else. There's your energy, and then you got the chariot, cancer energy. I'm gonna say again, I feel like this person, um, you definitely got somebody coming back towards you, or they're coming at you very strong. I feel like you got the three of swords here. Starting off with three of swords, then you got three of pentacles, okay? I feel like this person broke your heart and they're going to be coming back towards you telling you that they want to work things out. Three of pentacles work and build and establishing something together. They're saying they want to work things out, but let's see. Let's see if it's the back because I'm getting some other messages. Yeah, this person's, you know, the emperor is about, that's a divine counterpart. That's the spouse, the ultimate, if you will, Aries energy. So this person is like, okay, they got a plan to, and they want to execute it. They want to work things out with their three of pentacles. They want to establish something with you. Queen of swords. Some of you guys can be on guard here because how they did you in the past, which makes a lot of sense, you know, male or female. Let's see what we get for this three of swords and then the chariot. Yeah. Some of you guys are still stuck in your head about what they did to you before. Eight of swords, mental imprisonment. You know, you guys still feel like you're in some type of gray area. In other words, not seeing she's blindfolded. Whether or not you can trust them, you don't see how it's possible for you to trust them after what they did. 
Some of you all are deciding to move on, but I also feel like you got somebody coming towards you. For me, this is someone that you definitely have history with. I'm not getting new. There could be someone new coming in because the chariot could be something new on your path, but you're still currently dealing with the three of swords being first card. You're still dealing with some past energy that needs to wrap up first or some past, a past person trying to come back in. So let's part the deck. Yep. <laughs> Look at this. I didn't even part it evenly. And what did you get? Judgment card, reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. Something that was dead is coming out that casket. I'm telling you, this part, you got somebody trying to come back for sure. Like I said, they could be a Cancerian with the chariot here or a fellow air sign, Gemini, another Libra or Aquarius. But whatever the case is like, they want to come back. That's, that's for sure. So for the three of swords, currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess in reverse Pisces. Their first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, P, R, S, or T. I, heard, I said T, so somebody's nickname could be T, T, um, T, J, B, J, P, J. Okay. That, that somebody's, <laughs> somebody's a J, like somebody could be a Junior. Junior Johnson, Jonathan, James, Jamal, um, Javier. Also, so let's get a clarify for the three of swords. Universal energy is a light love. Okay. Did we not just have him? See, this is somebody who could, they couldn't do right. They didn't do right by you. Because remember, we just had the emperor right. You got to reverse. This is somebody that you release. Because right, he's holding that pinnacle. This is somebody who sees the value of things. It's in reverse. This person broke your heart. This is someone that you were either married to, engaged to, or you had plans on marrying or being with long term. And they didn't do right by you. So you, you cut this person off. Where this person ghosted you. It was something where there was some type of ending. Aries energy again definitely could be done on fire side because you even have flames coming from behind that. And it's behind, so that's somebody in the past, somebody that you released. So they definitely could be a fire sign, but they're trying to come back with an offer. They, they, they're wanting to offer you stability now, or at least that's what they're claiming. Okay, I'm telling you. Now, the break you off, they're definitely talking about some type of intimacy, but I also feel like this person is talking about breaking you off with like the stability that you want. They ain't gonna be, they gonna come proper this time. At least that at least that's what they're claiming. They're claiming they're coming in, wanting to offer you something proper. So let's have a clarify for the chariot. Clarify for the chariot for Libra. Someone where I said being this individual. Mm -hmm. This person may come in and tell you that they were lost. They didn't know what they wanted. They 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 weren't certain who they were with the hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Hermit is seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity on some type of journey. Also, something could have ended with you and this person in Virgo season. Virgo season is August, September time frame. Yeah, because this is someone who a right come towards you. Your knight or princess shining armor who sweeps you off your feet in reverse. It's like they they just went in a different direction. They didn't do what you, they, they weren't to you who they initially were when you guys met. Also, this person doesn't know how, they may not know how to be romantic. See, with the break you off, if you think about it, when they say break you off, that is just very, in that language, it's just very sexual. So this person does not know how to be romantic. Like you see, he's upright with his cup, like coming in to sweep somebody off their feet. It's in reverse. So maybe this person's form of romance, being romantic is just physical intimacy. And you might have to teach this person because a hermit is always going seeking knowledge and wisdom. So this is someone who needs to learn this, but because in reverse, it's like they're not even seeking it. They feel like it's it's normal how they deal with things as far as intimacy and romance. I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who's not a romantic. Like they don't know how to be romantic. They don't know how to, you know, it, it's like they don't get it. To them, with if you really think about it, a lot of people like that, they think intimacy is just being physical. They don't know it's mental, emotional, spiritual, financial. They don't know that there's so many different levels of intimacy. For this person, it's just all physical. And I feel like if you're going to allow this person to come back into your life, you're going to have to teach them otherwise. Or else they're going to keep going down the same path. Because this is her going down a certain path. This person is going to keep going down that same path. And it's going to keep you in this same energy. So what I'm getting here. Very interesting. Okay. So Libra, some moon rise in the Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.